All right, well, we can solve this one. So a 1,000, as it turns out, is a perfect cube. It is a perfect cube for 10. So in other words, if we took 10 and cubed it, we'd get that 1,000. So we really got x cubed minus this 10 cubed equals 0. And then at this point, we have the difference of cubes, which was a minus b times a squared minus, I'm sorry, a uh, plus in this case, a b plus b squared. Now what we've got to do is figure out what is a and what's b. And we can see from what we had done before that x is going to be uh, the a value. But I need to replace all the a's with that x. So that's an x squared. Then we've got x times b. And b in this case is 10. So we'll just go in and replace all the b's with 10. I made that red, so we'll just make that red. Then we can evaluate from here. So x minus 10 times uh, x squared plus 10x plus 100. And of course, this all equals 0, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we can see right here that um, at the beginning, we've got this x minus 10. If we can make that 0, then we have at least one answer. So to do that one, we'd add 10 to both sides. We'd get x x equals a positive 10 right there. Now on, on this other one, we've got x squared plus 10x plus 100. That one right there can't be factored. I mean, if you want to use the quadratic formula, you could. But I believe that one's going to give us some imaginary values for that. So 10 is what would be the actual answer. If this is part of a section that wants imaginary numbers, then you may use the quadratic equation for that.